Hello and welcome to Fran Plans. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like the channel and I hope you will stick around. I'm so excited to finally bring this video. It's been something that I've been wanting to share on my channel. And as you saw from the thumbnail, um, we are going to Disney World. I am so excited. Um, this is my second time going. I went as a teenager, I think I was. I can't really remember. It's been a while. Um, but I went with my school for, I was in band like my entire life. <laughs> um, and so I went for a competition and my husband has been to Disneyland, not world. Um, so this is his first time. And then of course, this is the girl's first time. If you don't know, and if you're new to my channel, I am a mom of two little girls and a wife. I'm also a registered nurse. Um, I work from home. So yes, thank you for coming by. And I'm just ready to spill the beans. So we are going, and if you wonder what I'm looking at, I'm pulled up my iPad because I want to share some information um, about our trip and I put everything on here. So, um, yes, so we are going to Disney World. We're going doing, during our five-year-old spring break from pre-K. Um, so the end of March, we are doing five days, four nights. We are staying on property. I will be sharing the resort that we have chosen to stay at. Um... We're planning to do three of the four parks. Um, I'll discuss that as well. And I'm actually, my purpose of the video is because I've noticed throughout my planning and wanting to gain all of the knowledge that I can, and I call it research <laughs> by watching other people's blogs. I see everyone talking about their trips and planning and prepping, but I'm like, nobody ever discusses the price. And I know that's probably a private thing, but I'm like, people actually want to know because I remember as a mom, I've always wondered like, I hear people say it's extremely expensive, but how expensive, right? Like, is this something you can just budget for and plan for and, and go and not feel like you've just, you know, spent your last dime? So anyway, I wanted to share that information. So we will be leaving at the end of March. We leave on a Monday. We come home that Friday, which I actually want now like in my planning. I wish we would have come home that Saturday, actually. But I really think with two small kids, the five days, four nights is going to be perfect. You have to keep in mind, they need breaks. They need naps. They need potty breaks. Like, there's a lot that goes into it for kids. Um, so I do think our five days, four nights is going to be perfect. Um, and then we'll just be in the whole Disney bubble because we're staying on property and so forth. So let's get to the nitty gritty. We, um, like I said, we'll be going on spring break. We're going to do three of the four parks we're doing Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and um, Magic Kingdom. So we're not going to do Animal Kingdom. I've kind of done a little bit of research and Animal Kingdom is, is I think it's, from what I've been, from what I've read and heard, yes, it has great things to see and has some great rides, but a lot of people park hop, like they'll do Animal Kingdom at one part of the day and then go to another park. It's not a park that you want to probably be in all day. And we do plan to spend all day in one park. Um, we're not doing the park hopper. And what that means is where you can just hop around from park to park throughout the day. So we're going to sign up for, um, if we go to Hollywood Studios, we're at Hollywood Studios all day. And we may take a break at some point, maybe if the girls get tired or if we just want to go back to our resort for a minute to chill out and then come back for, let's say, fireworks or a show or whatever, um, that's the plan. So um, our oldest is five and then the baby, she will be three next month uh, at the end of the month, actually during the trip. Um, it wasn't intentionally planned for her birthday, but it's kind of falling into that. So we also will be spending her birthday there, although we are going to have a little gathering at our home for her the day before we leave for family. Um, and so the resort that we're going to be staying at is Port Orleans Riverside. So um, I guess you have Port Orleans French Quarter and then you have Port Orleans Riverside. Um, they're like sister resorts, if you will. And so chose Port Orleans. I've never stayed at any of the Disney properties. Um, the only reason that we really picked this resort is because I found out that they have what's called the Royal Rooms. And so, like I said, we are really wanting to be in the Disney bubble and what that means, just everything Disney that week, all the princess stuff, all the cartoon characters, Mickey and friends, we are just going to be immersed into the bubble. And so they have these rooms that are called the Royal Rooms and 
I didn't even know they were on this particular resort. I saw them on a YouTube video and I was like, okay, that's what I want because they are just decked out in princess themes and Mickey Mouse and, and the girls love all the princesses. And then the headboards for these rooms um, they actually have like these fireworks, like this pic, like a video of fireworks that comes out. Um, so it's like a really pretty room. And I was like, I want to splurge on it, not just for the girls, but for myself too. And for my husband, cause we, like I said, he's never been. And then I don't really remember my experience when I went as a teenager cause I was so young. So, um, so yeah, so we leave on a Monday, we leave on March 25th. We come home that Friday. So five full days. Um, well, kind of like four and a half. I don't know how you're going to count it, but, um, we leave that Monday. We come home that Friday. Um, we're doing three parks Monday. When we arrive, we want to check out Disney Springs. The resort that we are staying at actually has a boat that goes over to Disney Springs and Disney Springs is kind of like the downtown of Disney, like all the shops and all the, like some cool restaurants and they actually have some other um, like things you can do. They have the, the ampicar, cars, ampi cars. I forgot how you pronounce them. They're like these boats that kind of go into the, like the river or the, they, they're like boats. And so I thought that would be cool to check out. They have this parachute, um, thing you can get on a lot of cool things. Um, so we'll check that out. The plan is to arrive, um, if our room is not ready, we will just leave. You can check your luggage in and then just hop on the boat that goes to Disney Springs. It's like a 20 minute ride from what I've, from my understanding. And we'll check Disney Springs out. And then the second day we're doing Epcot, which is actually Ava's birthday. Um, so she'll be three. So we're going to do Epcot that day. We actually have a breakfast reservation at this restaurant called Garden Grill. Um, which is where you get to meet Mickey, Pluto, and Chippendale. Also, a little caveat, the girls do not know about this trip. Um, they will be surprised. And my husband and I, our plan is to not tell them. Uh, the morning that we get up to head to the airport, we're just telling them, we're going on an adventure today. We're going on a trip. And they will figure it out as the morning goes. And then they'll be surprised. So yeah, they have no clue. Um, I've been buying clothes and like little outfits for them. They just, they don't know. And I think it's so cute and so magical that they don't know about this huge surprise. Um, so yes, Disney, we fly in on Monday. If everything, God willing, everything goes well, uh, fly in, we will get to the resort. We're using Mirrors Connect, which is like the bus transportation because we're not bringing car seats with us. So we're using Mirrors Connect to get from the airport in Orlando to our resort. Um, we fly in that morning. Our flight leaves here, Chicago at like 7 a.m. We get there about 10.30, I think. Mind you, it's an hour difference. Um, it's like a two and a half hour flight. And then we will take the Mirrors Connect to our resort. And then um, Disney Springs, Hollywood Studios, no, Epcot, sorry. Epcot is the second day. Hollywood Studios is the third day. We have nothing booked, like no food reservations. We are gonna just explore and have fun. And then the fourth day, um, we have we're doing Magic Kingdom, which I'm so excited because this is our last day at the parks. And um, the girls, like I said, they love princesses. And so I was actually able to find out about the it's called the Bippity Boppity Boutique, which is so cute. Um where you can actually have your child set up for like a princess makeover. And so I, this is such a hard reservation to get, but I was actually able to get a reservation for them through this other company called Add More Magic. I will tag them below if this is something that you are interested in ever um, to get for your kid. They have to be between three, I think it's three and 12, three to 12. I'm not sure of the age. I know it's at three. Um, and they, they, like the fairy godmother comes and gets a kid and you can pick out a dress. They have different packages and they do their hair. They do like little sprinkles of it. They do the makeup, a little bit of makeup, nothing crazy. They do their nails, like a little nail polish. Um, well, anyway, I was able to get this reservation and it's such a hard reservation to get to come by. So I actually got that surprise yesterday in my email that it is set up for us and we're good to go. And we actually booked, we also booked them, booked us a reservation for what's called Cinderella's Royal Table, 
for dinner that day. So we'll be in the park. They'll get their makeovers first thing in the morning. Um, and then we will have dinner with all the princesses because there's like four or five princesses, including Cinderella, that are at the Cinderella's royal table. And they come by and greet you, take pictures and all that fun stuff. So we have two character dinings throughout our whole trip, which is awesome. And then of course, we will have other opportunities throughout the parks to meet other characters. So um, like I said, in this video, I also wanted to just break down the cost because this is something that as a parent, I was kind of like, oh goodness, I've heard so many, I don't wanna say horror stories, but it's kind of scary things about people when they book um, a Walt Disney World trip, they always talk about how expensive it is. And so I just didn't know. And so I'm gonna break down our costs, okay? Okay, so we actually were able to, we are Costco members, um, the big super you know, shopping place. So Costco has travel. And my sister-in-law and my brother, they go to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios a lot with their kids. And so she actually was like, check out Costco. And I was like, you know what? Good. Because I was actually, we were going to go anyway, but we were looking at off, um, off property uh, hotels and stuff because I just wasn't sure. So anyway, for our flights, our hotel, the transfer, the bus from the airport to the resort and our park tickets. Our total came to, I'm gonna, I'm pulling it up. It is um, $5,706.08. Okay, so that is, um, like I said, that is for our airfare, our ho the resort, the transfers, which is the bus from the airport to the resort, and our park tickets. Now, I if you go and price park tickets, they can vary from day to day. They also can vary depending on the season. Like spring break, they might be more expensive than just a regular old day in May or whatever, right? Because they know more people are coming. So the park tickets can change. Air flight also can change depending on the busyness of the season or you know that time of year. And so I really thought this was a great deal for four people with all that's included. Um, of course, we still need to, you know, pay for our food. We're not doing the dining package. We don't think that it works out best for us because our kids are little. They like to snack. They do like the certain foods that they eat. And then it's like snacks and stuff. So we just didn't want to do that. Um, and we just kind of want to see where we land. And so I've heard people say budget $250 to $300 a day for your food. I don't know if that's for four adults, three adults, but we have two adults with two little kids. And then I do as a mom, being a planner and an organizer, I'm going to pack snacks. I'm going to do a grocery delivery to the resort because you can do that. So I do have my planning in mind and I will do a video recapping after the trip, how much we spent, right? Because I do think, I want to be transparent because like I said, this was something I was looking for information on and I just couldn't find it on YouTube or anywhere. <laughs> You know, because people don't talk about it. It's like sensitive information, I guess. But yes, fifty-seven hundred dollars for the the week, the airfare, the hotel, the parks, everything. Um, so I'm very satisfied with that. Um, this is not a trip. We'll be. I know some people do Disney three, four times a year. I think we'll probably be like a once every year or once every two year family. I don't know for sure yet, but it is something that we are paying cash for. We're cash flowing it. Um, and so I'm so thankful to be able to do this. My husband and I, so blessed, so thankful. And um, and so, yeah, so I wanted to definitely, like I said, sit down and do this video. I'm super excited. I'm actually going to make this a playlist on my channel, the Disney chant, the Disney playlist. Um, and I will be showing planning. I actually have clothes I need to sort because I have ordered some outfits for myself. I do want to kind of theme um, I think they call it Disney bounding, where you kind of dress up in a way because you we're not going to wear costumes, but you just dress up a way kind of similar to a certain character. So I do have some more things I'll be bringing to the channel in reference to the trip, but I'm so excited and I'm so excited I was able to sit down and do this video and get this information out there. So please stay tuned, subscribe, hit this, hit the like button um, and stay tuned because there's more Disney planning to come. Talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.